<laughs> Welcome everyone to the Rod King channel. I am Rod King and this is my official first YouTube video. Before we get started, I'll get along too far. I need to stop and get some gas. Haven't gassed up in a while if you can see that needle. Like I said everyone, I'm Rod King, not on the Road King, I am on a 2008 Yamaha Raider. Really just want to test out, see how the audio, what the audio sounds like, how this camera is. I'm pull over here, get some gas real quick, then uh, we'll go over a little bit about me. Beautiful out, man. It's like October. And it's still in the 80s here in Maryland. Southern Maryland. Let's make that U-turn. There we go. Back up because that nozzle is down. back it's been so long since I've worn a full face helmet on a motorcycle other than being on my dirt bike Again, I'm on a 2008 Yamaha Raider. Probably one of the most forgotten, most underrated, most unknown, best cruisers out there. But we'll save that topic for another video today. Just wanted to tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I've been riding motorcycles since about, oh, accident, slow down. Get over in the next lane. Hope everyone's all right, man. Hope it's. Hope everyone's okay. No one's seriously injured. Look like this trash truck in this uh. SUV man had a collision. Everyone looks to be okay. Everyone looks like they're up. Well, isn't that some excitement for the first video? So yeah, I've been riding, bought my first motorcycle. It was a 2002 Yamaha R6. I bought that back in uh, 2006, I wanna say. Maybe about 2006, the very first bike. Uh, loved it, man. Great bike. I paid a few grand for it. Um, I want to say it was like eight thousand dollars, something like that. Uh, then went on to have a um, 2002 Jixxer 750, which absolutely adored it, man. I love how bulky and wide it was. Um, learned how to do a lot of crazy things on that bike that I probably shouldn't have been doing, but you know, we all go through that phase when you just want to be a goon out in the streets doing the wheelies and speeding through traffic. Yep, that was me. Do not deny it at all. After the 750, I got a 2004 Kawasaki ZX-10. The Widowmaker, as they like to call it, because the bike was extremely powerful and did not have a steering stabilizer. So by the time you got about 160, the bars got to wobbling. A lot of people lost their lives. And Kawasaki redesigned it for the following years and made sure they had that sta those stabilizers on there. And I 
reside in Maryland, the southern, southern Maryland to be exact. Um, beautiful area, man. You see the leaves and stuff are starting to change here in October for the fall weather. Not too far away from the water. Not too far away from the, you know, the main city of Washington, D.C. So, yeah, guys, um, yeah, I've been riding for quite a while. I want to say about 2006. Um, after that, after I bought my R6, I actually ended up moving to Orlando for a year, man, and was going to MMI for a while. Loved the school. Just uh, something unfortunate happened. I had to leave. I mean, I had a, uh, had a bad motorcycle accident, man, and, you know, really tore myself up pretty bad, you know. Met some people, made some friends, and we was just going all in, man. And Orlando was new for me, season, you know, ride all year round. I just got in trouble. Um, I uh, was in this bad motorcycle accident. Ended up breaking fingers, um, crack, crack, um, cracking my skull. A uh, couple other things, man. It was pretty bad. I wasn't able to take care of myself anymore. Mom flew down from Maryland to Orlando to come pick me up so I can get back to, you know, get, get some care because I, I just couldn't do those things for myself anymore. So I was down for quite a while. Had lots of road rash. Um, you know, in Florida having that no helmet law, I just thought I was in heaven, man. And they took that one accident and I knew right after that I need to make sure I always wore a helmet. Because <laughs> before I moved to Florida, I always wore my helmet. But once I got there and they was like, yeah, man, it's no helmet laws down here. You don't have to wear a helmet, man. We be chilling, blah, 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 blah. The helmet comes off. You start to mix with those people. And I was on my RSS going about a buck 20. A uh, car cut out in front of me. Did everything I could to slow down. It just wasn't enough. Right, right into the river. <sighs> Luckily, I didn't go, you know, lose consciousness or nothing. I was still alert, just broken up. Was able to walk, talk. But once that pain hits, you know, your adrenaline slows down. That pain really sinks in. Just couldn't do but so much for myself. Moved back to Maryland. Um, about a year goes by. I buy the. Uh, Jixxer 750 had some awesome th times on that man riding up and down the east coast on the sport bike going from Maryland to Pennsylvania to South Carolina North Carolina West Virginia even I think I think we did a ride to West Virginia on sport bikes it was a good time so yeah man since about I've been riding since about 2006 before then just had dirt bikes well had a dirt bike I started on a Yamaha TTR 225 and learned a lot of lessons off that bike real quick at the age of, I think I was about 14, 15 years old. And for a 14, 15 year old, the bike didn't have, the bike had power just large, it was heavy. It had power for me at that age. Now I could probably ride it like it's nothing. But um, 14, 15 years old, I was tall, but um, it was just a heavy bike, man. Heavy bike, but I learned a lot, man. Popped the clutch several times and had to flip backwards, crash through a neighbor's fence. Park a 
up here, I'm gonna get off and show you guys what the radio looks like. I know a lot of you watch on YouTube have no idea. Most people have no idea what a Yamaha radio is. I can tell you what a low rider is though. And that's not hate, I love the low rider. I think it's a great looking bike. Just under power in my opinion. Oh, there goes the peg. Right here at the park. Is that the park? No, that's not the park. I think it's the next one. Yeah, it's the next one. It has to be the next one. It better be the next one. It's gravel. I know. I've been around for quite some time, so I'm not too scared of it. Alright guys, this is the 2008 Yamaha Raider. 113 cubic inches, 1900 cc's. Advertised at 1900 cc's, it's more like 1854 or something like that. Uh, I want to say... This also has about 100 horsepower, 123 foot-pounds of torque, I'd say. Fast-speed transmission, not one of the better things about it, but we'll talk about that also. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it in a nutshell, man. Great bike, wide rear tire, if you like that fat tire look. Come stock with a 210, I put a 240 on there, which I like. I mean, I don't have any problems with the 240, belt-driven. You can see my tag. Yeah, let's hop back on the ride. Had that snake skin seat on there when I bought it. Let's turn around, be easy on this gravel. Cause she will slide. have any I don't have any goals for this channel I just want to start a YouTube channel traffic out today. It's a nice Jeep. She is not afraid to get up and go. The power plant is amazing. Only gripe I have is that it's a five speed. Nothing wrong with it. I mean, it definitely, the bike definitely holds up at 75, 85 miles per hour on the highway. I mean, I've ridden it 
you know, from Southern Maryland to Ocean City was probably about a three hour ride. I'm doing about 8590 and no issues whatsoever, man. It was a great bike. Had no problems. It's comfortable. I'm about six foot, 225 pounds, 127 pounds, somewhere right around there. Bike fits my stature perfectly. I do wish the bars was up more, like here. Which we got a fix coming for that soon. Nice dually, bro. Nice dually. on that Jeep. Yeah, man, I mean, a lot of people just don't know about this Yamaha already. You see a lot of, a lot of millennials my age, I'm, you know, early 30s, 34, um, 33, one of them, I can't remember. Um, a lot of millennials, man, a lot of people on that low rider ass. And I urge you, to take a look at the Yamaha right now. Not a bash against Harley. I plan to own a Harley one day, eventually. Don't know if I'm gonna buy brand new or not. I probably will. It's because I know it's been, you know, further down the road. But, um, if you're looking for that low rider, you like the style of the low rider S, definitely encourage you to look at the Yamaha Raider, man. You can find them cheap find them cheap I bought this bike two years ago man and I paid under five thousand dollars for it with about seventeen thousand miles only downside about these bikes is and this platform is just not a a huge aftermarket for it. you know the aftermarket is it's just not there you know no one can compete with Harley's aftermarket and you know customizing their bikes the way that you can or you know so everything is click point and click i mean eventually everyone has the same parts on their bike and they all end up looking the same eventually down the road that you have some cut some real fabrication work done but um yeah it's just that the, the aftermarket isn't there i mean you can find parts but they're going to be expensive <laughs> those parts are expensive man because it's just not and not a lot of people out there with them Like I'm having some bars and rises made now just because you can't find them. You can't like point and click that stuff. So I had to find a guy that can make them for me. And you know, we went through everything, talked about it, and he's gonna get started on pretty soon here. Get him back and get him on. Now also do a video on me installing them. I mean, most of your most popular YouTube channels are riding like the Dyna platforms or the low rider platforms or the Sportster, Sportster platforms. Now, you know, I just want people to know there's other options out there, man. Again, this is not on a bash on any other platforms. I had a bash on Harley. I like them. I think they design great bikes. But if you're looking forward to get on two wheels, you're looking to do it on a budget, you know, you don't want to have a huge note. <laughs> You just want something you can pay cash for. Check Facebook Marketplace, man. Um, Craigslist. Again, you can find these Yamaha Raiders, man. 1900 cc, 113 cubic inches. And this is 2008. How did they start getting into these big bores until recently? <laughs> it took them 10 years since I produced some motors that size. 
with the 114s and things. You know, and then they got the stage four 131, which is cool. But when you look at it, I've I've watched YouTube videos, people putting those 131 kits on their diners and on their low ride. I mean, on their low rider S, the new low rider S. Excuse me, I didn't mean to mix up the terminology. Watch people do it, and um, they're still only pushing, you know, a few more horsepower than what this is pushing stock. So if you're getting into it for power and performance, again, look at something else, man. Um, you know, I seen I seen them 131 kits go on, and it's just not much of a difference. I mean, the transmission is probably the best part because they have the six speed, so they can get a lot more out of it, put a lot more to the ground, a lot, you know, get it to the ground a lot better. But down low, it's ready to get it every time. I do have the stock exhaust on here, just deep baffled. Give it a little bit more grunt. No one wants to whisper on cruiser. I mean, I honestly don't know what to expect out of this channel. I'm not really, you know, I'm just doing it for fun. It's just a hobby. This bike is dirty. It needs a bath. Alaska. It'd be a hell of a ride in that Dodge Dakota coming from Alaska. Florida. You know when those do that, just look around while they're on the road, just hmm, wonder where people are coming from. Wonder what that story is. Why are you here in Maryland from Alaska? <laughs> The Harley, my Harley buddy, there gave me a wave too. He probably didn't realize this wasn't a Harley either. 
I get a lot of people come up to me like, man, that's a clean bike. Oh my gosh, it's great, man. It looks good. What is it? It's a Harley? Harley? What type of Harley is that? Hey, no. Nah. It's a Yamaha. <laughs> it's a Yamaha Raider, man. I'm like, you serious? What like, year is it? Brand new? I'm like, no, it's 2008, man. Bike's fairly old. I didn't know Yamaha made something like that. Take it to Harley Dillers. And then they, that, that one thing, all, the one coming to always get it, man. What size engine? It's probably about a, you know, what about 200 cc's or something like that? You know, 1100 cc, 1300. That's all people know about, about the V, the, you know, the classic V Stars. Hey, no, it's a V Star. It was 113. It's a 113, man. 1900 cc's. And that just blown away. There's a 2008 with 1900 cc's. I want to get around this cement truck. But Mr. Alaska's putting alone. I don't like being in those uh, blind spots when it comes to those bigger trucks. Yeah, I mean, I still get a lot of comments on this bike till this day. It doesn't have to be in, and then you have to be clean. And people are gonna say, man, that's a great looking bike, man. It just looks so bad. Just great design. It is, man, that's why I chose it. I mean, cause believe me, before I bought this, I was looking at the V-Rods. There was something else I was looking at. I think it was the low rider. It was the low rider. I was looking at the low rider. I went and sat on the low rider. And it just felt too tight for me. It felt very compact, like everything. I guess probably because they had mid controls. And then your feet are like this. It just didn't, to me, it just didn't feel right. So I was like, uh, just sitting on it just doesn't please me at all. <laughs> Still try to get into it, you know, talk to a couple people, watch a lot of videos. And I don't know how, I think I end up scrolling through Facebook, not Facebook, Craigslist, just browsing, just cruising, I just like cruisers. And I saw this bike pop up, not this is our bike, but I saw y'all my radar come up. And when I seen it, first thing I thought was Terminator 2. When <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger was on that fat boy. Even though I know, you know, to me it didn't, I know it's not a fat boy, I know it looks nothing like it, but it just brought back that childhood of, oh man, that's a cruise I've been looking for. That's what a cruise is supposed to look like to me. And then just started educating myself, man. Started looking on YouTube, couldn't find many videos on it at all. I mean, it's just... <laughs> Barely any any video out there of the Yamaha Raider, man. And if you do find some, it's just ride videos. Like no one's doing. You may find a couple of people who do a, a full in-depth review, but well, most of them are just people just riding. We want you to hear how the exhaust sounds. Just say, oh man, that sounds so good in the distance. No, tell me about the bike, man. I want to hear, hear everything about it. Like I said, I've had this bike two years now and learned a lot. Coming from riding the sport bike, selling the ZX-10 to buy a cruiser was a change for me. But I wasn't a beginner, so the people who did say, man, this is not a beginner's bike. Beginner should not buy a Yamaha Raider. It's so big and bulky. And it, you know that 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 rake on the front tire is just way out there. Just takes some getting used to. That's all. Look at that, man. It's another thing about this bike I don't like is the gas tank, man. It's so small. So I, I do ride 
in groups sometimes. I mean, those guys have bigger Harleys. You know, the road, the road glides, the street glides, and things like that. And they get so much mileage out of them. I'm always at one point in my tank like, hey man, I gotta pull over. <laughs> gotta slow up. I gotta pull over, find a rest stop. I need gas. I'm always the first one slowing down the group. Not slowing it down for our speed and power, but slowing it down because we gotta make so many stops. And depending on how we ride, I can get 90, 200 miles on the tank. But we have some good riding here in Maryland, man. We got, you know, you go northern, northern Maryland, you have the mountains there. You have the mountains up in Frederick and Cumberland and things like that, and Hagerstown, southern Maryland. Got the beaches and the flat roads. I think that's gonna do it for me for today. I am Ride King, not on a Road King, but on a Yamaha Raider. It's good to meet you guys. <laughs> good for this first official moto vlog. Um, yeah, hope to see more of you soon. Hope to watch. Hope you stick around and watch me grow, watch this channel grow, and. Uh, Talk to you soon. Talk to you soon. <laughs> Peace.